Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Upper Lake Tenicomo. I'm going to do one cast today. It's uh, Friday the t 12th, maybe. Yeah, it's the 12th. Um, I boated up here to the Narrows. I uh, really came up here for a couple of reasons. I wasn't sure if I was going to do one cast here, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. It's super windy today, and it's it's pretty chilly. It's not out of the 40s today. A little front came through last night. And I came up here to gather some more scuds and sow bugs, and I even got a sculpin in here, which is really cool for my aquarium. And I've got Got a lot more bugs this time. I think when I get back to the uh, the dock, I'll dump them into the aquarium, and then I'll take a little video of them. A lot of sow bugs and a lot of scuds. And this is a. Uh, the easiest place to get them. I got out and broke my muck boots and got out and kicked up the gravel and used a net and netted them. And it's not super easy, but it's not hard either. Um, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna throw the scud under an indicator, small, small indicator set about eight inches. I'm using a 12. Uh, roo scud. Let's make out a kangaroo hide or fur, and it's a uh, it's a really a brown brown scud. <coughs> a few people out today, but not very many. Not very many. But as you can see, the boat go by. He's he's out the channel. I'm out on the flat, and out in front of me, you can actually see <coughs> dry gravel out there. And there's a lot of fish to the right and in front of that gravel, on my side of the gravel, um, in that 12 inches of water <coughs> that are feeding on scuds pretty actively. They, I think this wind has really gotten the bugs active and when the bugs get active the fish get active and I threw in there one time and caught one so and I gathered my bugs and I was gonna fish a little bit so I'm pretty much gonna cast away from the camera the sun's over here so I'm gonna try to keep the sun out of your stable with these big boots but I'm only in six inches of water so I'm safe <laughs> I think so I can see them see them out there tailing so see if I can target one bunch of them swimming around. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a nice one out there. Okay, move a little bit to your left, fish. Ah. 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to move the camera up here and it's shallow enough. I'm going to get out of the boat. <clears throat> How about that? Let's see if I can get out of the boat without killing myself. Looks like it's a little bit more shallow over on this side. The only problem is Jackson really wants to get out of the boat when I get out. I think what I'm going to do real quick is drop this trolling motor so my boat's not running back and forth. Oh, hit my seat. And now the trolling motor is kind of in the way, but I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I know, Jack. But you're not, you're not coming out. Check my scud for algae. Now you can literally see how shallow it is. This one right in front of me. I don't think I'm going to spook them too much. The wind is out of the north. Oh, said one take it. He's real quick. You know, it's really sometimes really frustrating to do this because, oh, 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 yeah. Because they're real super active and then when you get out and you turn the camera on, then they're not, oh, shoot. Another real short bite. There's a whole pot, pot of them right there. They must be really working that area good because there is a bunch of them there. Oh shoot. I had him for a second. Seems like they are really, 
reacting to when I swim the, the scud, what I pull on it, making move. And you'll see in my aquarium when I put those scuds in there, sometimes they move around, sometimes they just cling to the rocks. But when they, uh, when they start swimming around, it's pretty amazing. Supposed to be down in the mid 20s tonight. So we might lose whatever vegetation that we got in the landscape tonight. I did not bring an extra scud. Of course I did not bring. And that either. There we go. I am using 6X fluorocarbon tippet. There we go. I don't know if that sun's going to make any difference or not. There are a lot of fish over on this side of that gravel bar too. I'm going to throw over there in just a second. Oh, that wind is blowing my float. Oh, there's one out there. Uh, I was way off of that. Although they hit it. These guys are not in much deeper water than I'm standing. Maybe 12 inches about 12 inches to the top of my boot. These aren't real big, but they're pretty. There you go. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Right there. Yeah, these are all just little right there. I'm going to go back over here to the right of that. <coughs> that little island. Come here. You definitely do not want to use two flies on a day like today. You'd be tangled up all the time. Oh, and there's a bunch of fish over here. Oh, 
pulled it right out of his mouth. Oh, I got it. Let's see if he goes back. He's over here now. Yeah, I don't think that's the fish that was chasing mine. Oh, my camera. Probably throwing outside the view of my camera. Sorry about that. I don't know. I can't tell. which is the hardest spot to get that hook out of. Oh, nice. Keep off. All right, I'm going to keep it on this side just so you can see the See the float maybe and see the take. These guys over here, I mean, I was really pulling this thing, almost stripping it, and they were running to it. Like I said, I pulled it out of one's gosh. Pull it out of one's mouth. I mean he was really running after it. I'm glad I decided to fish here. It's uh, a lot of action, at least. Ooh, there's a bunch of fish right there, just to the left of my boat. Um, okay. Oh, come on. Chase it. They're getting wise to my brown scud. Got to hold up right there. Through right in the middle of them. Notice I got to keep my rod tip right on the water 
if I were to lift it up, it would it would just blow my line and my float all over the place. I think they're really starting to get smart. Throw a little bit in a different place. I float slid down to the fly, so was not going to catch anything. The fly was right up against the float. You always try to look for that 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 second splash when you throw out there, just to make sure that fly is in the right place. You got the, the, the splash of the float and then the splash of the fly. Okay. Say one more fish. They don't hit it over here this time. I got to go back to my other spot. Okay. Oh, I cannot see that float very good. that glare. I just missed one. Ooh, nice fish right there. Right there. Come on up. Yeah. Oh, come on. That was an aggressive refusal. That was disappointing. Got a real nice one down here, a little bit further. See, if I'm gonna get a little bit further away from the camera. Uh, where'd he go? Uh, where 
there's my float. Yeah, I can't cast that far because I'd lose track of the float in the glare of the water. Where'd you guys go? Okay. I gotta wrap this up. Eat it. Check my fly. there. I said one more. I didn't think it would be this tough to catch one more. there. Let me check my skirt. Yeah, it's it's caked. So they're not going to hit that. <sighs> I'll work my way back to the boat. I think it's getting colder too. Yeah, 
hands are starting to feel it. Uh, it... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to call it. I really thought I could catch several more. Probably should change colors. Scud. Oh, I just missed one. Change colors, change sizes. Change locations. They are not coming up and tailing as much as they were when I first got here, that's for sure. one right here. See if I can entice him to hit. Oh, I just spooked him. He'd swam he'd swam right up right up on me. He was getting close. Of course, now they're tailing like crazy down by the island. Wow, there's a bunch of them there now. The wind laid down too. I'm gonna make one long cast. See if I can get this one. There's one there too. Oh, I spooked him. There's my float. There it is. Heck, come up. I got them all around my scud and they're not, they're not taking it now. That's sure funny how they do that. Oh, there my thing slid down again.
Oh my gosh. I'd say that's a natural fish. It's got all of its fins, par marks, and everything. Okay, buddy. I'm here. There you go. All right, I gotta go. Hope you enjoyed that. That was fun. Should be another windy day tomorrow. Probably about the same conditions. See you then.